Since joining a small men's group, I've learned what it means to have authentic relationships with other men. And now as a leader, I get to show the impact of that on my life and I help to create an area that other men can build those relationships as well. Lakeside has become a sizable church and Jan and I have little interaction with a number of people who attend. The small group has developed an intimacy with others, a sharing of life issues, and even led to a two-week adventure with 28 others to go to Israel, up to Jerusalem. Um, small groups provide excellent community relationships and good friends. And uh, after this morning's message about sowing the seed, this certainly helps in uh, developing uh, your relationship with Christ and with others as well, and also learning more about the scriptures. Small groups are all about growing in your faith by studying God's word, great fellowship with new friends, and fun social times with fabulous food. I enjoy the interaction, and I really like the exchange of ideas. Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, Lakeside has small groups. I, I may be paraphrasing a bit, but uh, show me a person that's having some trouble in their lives, and I'll show you an incredible growth opportunity. And being part of a small group at Lakeside helped me turn that opportunity into reality in two ways. Number one, our fearless leader chose some amazing book and video resources um, that really helped inspire me. And being part of that group gave me the discipline uh, to really engage and, and go deeper uh, with those resources and with my faith. And the second way is that as iron sharpens iron, uh, talking with people in that group um, and sharing their stories on, on their life journey um, helped me in my own walk with God. Um, I can truly say that I've experienced more growth in these past two years than in the previous two decades. And what that says to me is that small groups are powerful fertilizer for growth. Life groups has been a great challenge in our life. Um, being able to lead them, being able to help people grow in their life and encourage one another. The biggest thing for leading a life group for me is the life change that happens, that we are able to study God's Word and get into people's lives where we do life together. More so than you would just meeting each other on a Sunday morning, it's about life. And some weeks we actually don't do a study because there's issues that people need to work through and we're here to help them out. That is the main reason why I love leading a life group. It's about life change. Life groups means a great deal to us. To me, um, it means a great deal to me to be able to give my life uh, to other men in particular. But in that, it's also having these men speak into my life to listen to my concerns, hear my pains and my struggles, and to provide that support uh, that I'm looking for and that encouragement uh, that I need to be able to live uh, my life as I live uh, with Dixie, how I am in my work, how am I in public. It's about embodying Christ in absolutely everything uh, that I put my heart and mind to.